So Shiro, get off the table, bro. Sorry, what do I say? I froze. Look who's over on the other side. <laughs> What's Michael like off camera? Whoa! they were famous studios this is where I work I come in here to film and do my other channel famous entertainment where I do like seven videos a week so this is where the magic happens and it's after hours right now but you're getting the first look Woo! this is where the magic happens the filming and usually all these lights are on I film here, Michael films before they were famous here, we film the news here, we film the Spanish channel here, so there's a whole lot of filming done here. I think the old studio was like a closet and it was probably the size of this, maybe plus some desk space, but it was, it's a big difference. And it's dog friendly. Yes, they're here for the tour. So we have a fridge here. That's three times the size of our fridge at home, so I'm very jealous of that. Michael put together this table, it's lovely. We got some games, a clue, some more games here. Kitchen, this. <laughs> How long have we been here? I don't know, like a few, a month? It's uh... a few weeks. About a month, they're right. Yeah, I'd say a month, but like it's coming together. Michael also put together the couch. It's not that soft. Does it turn into a bed? It does turn into well, a bed. Then, TV. Michael's office, which I'll be moving into soon. Right now, I just work at that computer. Oh, look what's on Michael's desk. It's me. So people have questions about about us for today's video? Yes, I'm gonna get into those you were asked about. Me? Hey guys, so I'm gonna get into my Q&A now. You guys sent me a bunch of questions. I'm gonna answer like 10 or 12 of them. And this is my very first Q&A, so thank you guys for sending me questions. Um, if you haven't, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers and then more, but you know, let's start with that. Okay, I got the, the first question is, what's your background nationality? Pretty basic question, but I feel like people ask me that a lot because this is obviously not my natural hair color. This is my natural eye color though. I'm Canadian, I'm born here, but my dad is born in Malta, which is a little tiny island beside Italy, but they have a totally different language, totally different everything. And then my mom's side is Polish, so I get the blue eyes from her. And then my hair is actually really dark, and that's obviously from my dad, who I think I look more like. I don't know. What's your go-to snack? I feel like I have healthier days and then not so healthy days. And I think a few of you guys asked me to do a what I eat in a day video, which I plan on doing, but I'm gonna have to be honest because I don't always eat healthy. One that I like that's pretty healthy is I like to have almonds. So I don't like salted almonds. I like roasted, unsalted almonds and like dried blueberries or some things because that always fills me up or fruit, which is also healthy. And then my other snacks that aren't so healthy is like I have a weakness for bread and cheese. So I'm like a mouse always eating cheese. And I like those Ritz crackers. I like the ones that are like cheese sandwiches and that's definitely another weakness. Cheetos. Oh, Cheetos is my other uh, junk food snack, but then I can't put the bag down. How old are you and what will you do in the future? <laughs> How old am I? I am 27. I was never one to plan out my futures. I think in my future, I will still be doing YouTube hopefully because it's turned into a full-time job and a career. So with the other channel hosting and everything, I like doing that. So hopefully in the future I'll be doing that. Hopefully we won't be locked down and I can travel some more. 
and hopefully you have a family. What, would you host the videos pregos? Yeah, I would. So if I'm still doing videos by then, I'll do them in whatever state I'm in. Just, you know, future, more dogs, happy family. And we'd like to do a house tour where it's our house we're not renting. Yeah, so then we'll do a house tour when we buy a house. Okay, the next question is about me. <laughs> Man behind the camera, Michael McCrudden. How did you and Michael meet? Okay. Actually, it's a nice story. It's not just Tinder or something. So Michael and I met um, when I was going out for my birthday. He had a friend that lived, I guess, a few doors down from him, who was also my guy friend, Andrew. And then I was over there with my girls at the friend's place and we were trying to get them to go out for my birthday. And Michael just happened to be over at his neighbor's house. And then we found that we were all connected because he knew my best friend's boyfriend and this guy. And then I dragged Michael to come out with us for my birthday a few years ago. And he took me on a date two days later and the rest was history. You guys probably don't know this and it's a little inappropriate, but Kara has the best butt. And <laughs> that apartment that we met in, she had to come downstairs to let me in. So then I followed her up and let's just say it was love at first sight. All right, the next one's actually a two-part question. How long have you been dating Michael and how's Canada? I've been dating Michael for what? Maybe like almost three years now, two and a half, something like that. It, it's been a while. Someone asked me today and I was like, oh, two year? I couldn't remember. No, it's over, it's two and a half at least. Wow. I go by like Christmases. I think about how many like Christmases. We've already spent two Christmases together and it's almost Christmas again. And we met in May. So. Got it. It's like three Christmases. Anyway, <laughs> how's Canada? Um, I like Canada to live in, but if it's about how Canada is right now, it's a lot of just sitting at home and working and not going out. So we're gonna be on winter lockdown and it's starting to get really cold or it will like in a few weeks. All right, next question is about me and I might jump in here again. What's Michael like off camera? Whoa. Michael. I'm coming in. So, <laughs> yes, come on in. So what's Michael like off camera? So I would say if you watch Michael's videos and before they were famous, and we were talking about this with his family the other day, how you're so animated. He's so like loud and like boom. I'm not, I'm not always like that when I was, I'm not like that when I was, but that's your thing. He's not like that really at home. He's funny. Like he'll say weird stuff. He can be goofy. I think that part is definitely true. I dance a lot, You're goofy. I sing a lot. Sometimes you do like say stuff, I'm like, oh my gosh. He can also, you can also be a softy. You have a soft side. I don't know if people would guess that. Very good heart. Yes, can be sensitive. And lovely. And, and romantic. Lovely. And a bit of a like a troublemaker. I'm a bit of a project. She's got a lot of work. Yeah. Because like I'm uh, I kind of run around like a guy with his head cut off. Like yeah. I got so much to do and I do it all, but then and then I come home with flowers. It's Where's just, the flowers? Well, I've got flowers. Like 50 years ago. Anyway. Ah! Yeah, I don't. You're he's good company at home. We watch a lot of movies together when we're not working. Great help with work. I definitely pick up after you. She cleans up everything. I'm in the doghouse because of the whole flower thing, so I'm gonna get the hell out of here. All right, next up. Looking back, do you have any regrets in life? I would say no, because I don't really believe in regrets. I think that like anyone you date, anything you do, it's all experiences for the future and they make you who you are. I'm sure a lot of people say that. But actually, one thing I would go back and change if I had a say when I was younger, I would definitely develop more talents. Like I would get into music when I'm younger, become like a really good singer, learn how to play the guitar or learn other languages. But that's like up to your parents kind of when you're a kid. And I never did that. So that's something I would change if I could go back to when I was like four. I'm an start. Irish dancer. I can teach you how to Irish dance. There we go. You lived in Poland? Are you Polish? Or you went as a student or something? Yeah, so I did not live in Poland. I 
went to Poland and I have a bunch of pictures there because I went with my best friend who's more Polish than me and she was my translator and we went there for like a month so we spent like a lot of the summer there and just traveled around the whole country but my um, my mom's side's Polish so I do have that culture in me. Okay, any advice you would give your younger self? So that was a hard one for me to answer because I think when you're in when you're younger you don't know what to tell yourself. First of all, I would say to try a lot of things like and don't be discouraged about one path. Try a lot of stuff with work and also don't get discouraged about like finding the right person. Because even with me, I dated a lot before Michael and then I met him randomly and I didn't know at the time that this was the person I would stay with and everything also fell in place after that, like even with work, it just kind of lined up what we wanted in life. So stuff like that will work out and also get a lot of dogs like Shiro because I got him eight years ago almost and what a great investment. Okay, so I'm gonna switch it up and go sit on the couch over there. It's the stiffest couch in the world. So this one's mine for Famous Entertainment for reaching 100,000 subs. But during the move, mine is the one that got damaged. Decimated. Fizz, come. They like the couch. They like you. Next question. What types of movies do you like to watch? What's your fave genre? Mine's horror. So I like watching movies of all kinds. I think like my least favorite would be like, I guess action movies. I don't really watch those very much. My favorite is definitely horror. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have guessed that. I think I started watching horror movies when I was like four or five because my mom was cool with it. And I think one of my first favorites was like the classics, like Pet Cemetery and Christine. So that is my favorite genre. Next question. What do you love most about your work? I just love my work in general. I got pretty lucky, I'd have to say, because I didn't know if I'd be cut out for it, for the YouTube and hosting thing, but it ended up working out. I write most of my own scripts for the house tours that we do in Famous Entertainment and I research them. So I actually like writing and that's what I was doing when I met Michael. Some days I don't want to do my makeup every day to go film on camera, but it's really nice, the flexibility of it. And another thing I love is having a video do really well because it's super exciting and knowing all these people are watching it. All right, two more questions. Okay. What are three of your favorite hobbies? Three of my favorite hobbies, huh? I would have to say physical activity. I don't know because now I've been running more. I used to go to the yoga studio all the time and do hot yoga, which I love. But right now the studio is closed. So I've gotten into running. Another hobby would be reading. I like to read a lot. Witchcraft. <laughs> Maybe movies, watching movies. Spirituality too is a, is a hobby, doing rituals and like learning more about that. And what about your puppets? <laughs> That was my old favorite hobby and now I need to get into it again because puppet shows are really popular on YouTube. So stay tuned guys, there might be a puppet show coming up. <laughs> All right, the last question and it's a good one. <laughs> Do you ever get told you look like anyone famous and who? It's either someone saying I look like someone famous or that I remind them of someone famous. I would say the one that I get the most is Gwen Stefani, which Michael said as well when we met, I remind him of her, which is great because I love her. And then because Holly Madison is one of my idols, people say that maybe I just have like a similar style because I like her so much. So her, I've gotten Hailey Bieber quite a bit and I've gotten Cameron Diaz too. And that was even before my hair was blonde. So maybe I just have like a big smile or something. Also for those in the comments, here's, Cameron Diaz, and here's Gwen Stefani, and here's Holly Madison. Who does she look the most like? Let us know in the comments down below. I'm thinking Gwen Stefani. 
And if anyone's asking who I look like, well, I look like the before they were famous guy. Yeah. But after that, I think I look like Brendan Fraser from The Mummy. You do kind of look like that. So that was my first Q&A, but I had a lot of fun. So if you guys want to ask me more questions, I'd love to do another one of these sometime. I'm sure you guys can think of things to ask me. Yeah. All right, so guys, be sure to subscribe. Also, turn on the post notifications. She only drops one video a week. Every Sunday. So if you uh, if you're a fan and then you watch the premiere and you show some support, it really helps care a big bunch uh, because we want to get to a thousand subscribers. But you gotta get to like what fourth? No, ten thousand to get monetized, right? Yeah. So help me get to ten thousand. Damn, YouTube is tough these days. All right, guys. So let me know what other videos you want me to do, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.